store for a major vegan food haul. I'm gonna show you everything that I buy for the week. No one's around. <laughs> just say it. I'm just scared. Hey everybody, I'm grocery shopping for the week. I'm gonna show you guys everything that vegans get at the grocery store. <laughs> I make this for cereals. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> just need a little snack, you know? Grocery shopping is hard work. <laughs> All right, we gotta get to business. These organic noodles are seriously lifesavers for quick meals. When I go grocery shopping, I always shop for the sales. Red lentil linguine. $1.99. Unsweetened, plain, organic. The only ingredients are water, soybeans. My other favorite types of milk is cashew milk, unsweetened. And I also really like this oat milk. I'm gonna make a special sloppy joe recipe with lentils. Maybe I'll use these little pitas. Corn tortillas, literally a staple in my life. I eat these all the time. Corn, water, lime. Take five. Ah, why is this a struggle? Damn it. All right, take number three or four or five. Can you see my head? can't see that far away. So I'm back from the grocery store. I went to Sprouts. It's my favorite grocery store of all time. I'm gonna show you everything I got and I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna start with breakfast. For breakfast, I've been having fruit cereal, what I call it. Starts with chopped up banana, puffed rice. This was 99 cents and it'll last me all week. And the only ingredients are puffed whole grain brown rice. Then I mix it with some soy milk. This is organic, unsweetened soy milk. It was on sale. A lot of other non-dairy milks have like a huge list of ingredients that you can't even pronounce the words. And this is just really simple and natural. So I mix all this in a bowl. You could just have this for breakfast if you want, but I like to like spruce it up. Then I add some berries. These were both $1.99 at Sprouts, I believe. I don't buy organic, but I really should. I'll just wash them really well. So I mix all this in a bowl with an apple, chopped up, and it's fruit cereal. I don't feel like fruit cereal, I'll make a smoothie with bananas and like some kale. Literally, I'll just mix this together and have a smoothie. Moving on to lunch. For lunch, I almost always make a salad. I bought four of these romaine lettuce heads at Sprouts. They're only 99 cents. I'll either eat a whole one of these chopped up into like really tiny bits or I'll eat like three quarters of it and I'll save the rest. I bought these bags of pre-cut carrots and cabbage. And these are so easy because it's just less work, less chopping, all you do is throw it in the bowl and it's done. And I seriously always buy like a couple bags of these because you can throw them into soups or wraps or quick stir fries. And then in my salad, I'll put tomato, some onion if I don't have any place to be where I have to talk to people. I always put beans in my salad to make it more like satisfying and filling. I'll maybe put half a can of these beans. Cucumber maybe, throw my salad. Maybe I'll chop up some broccoli. If I'm not feeling like a salad, I bought these mini pitas and I will take a ton of veggies and make pita sandwiches with them. I also, something that I like to do is I make a whole huge pot of rice and I have it on hand for like really easy last minute meals. Oh, I forgot one thing. Steamed sweet potato. I'll mix this in with my salad or I'll just make sweet potato with kidney beans and rice. 
So you know I got some options. Oh, I also bought this salsa to mix in with sweet potato and beans and rice. So yeah, that's lunch. like to keep it really simple. For lunch, I'll do just a plain salad. Salad with sweet potato, pita wraps, or like brown rice bowl with beans and potato and salsa. So those are my three options that I have for lunch. On to the next one. Now we got dinner. I always buy these corn tortillas because I love them so much. These are non-GMO, no preservatives. The only ingredients are corn, water, and lime. This is less than two dollars at Sprouts. You can get the same exact thing at Trader Joe's for 99 cents, which is what I usually do. I'll mix the corn tortillas. I usually make a huge pot of beans and I save it for the week so I can have them. Maybe some mushrooms, some kale, oh, and maybe some peppers. Mix all that in a pan and I make little veggie tacos. Throw my salsa on there, top it with some avocado. This is like one of my go-to dinners. I have this far too often. Dinner option number two. This is like a five minute dinner. These are organic ramen noodles, Chinese mushroom powder, vegetable powders, onion and garlic, cane sugar, chili pepper, ginger, black pepper, lemongrass, green onion. That's it. So I take one of these and I cook it. Accordingly. Throw in organic green leaf kale from Sprouts are only 99 cents. I also bought rainbow chard if I get sick of kale. I try to eat as many vegetables for dinner as possible. Some mushroom and some broccoli and you have a five minute veggie soup. So easy. Oh, I bought one more thing. Peas. This is my favorite frozen vegetable. I love green peas. So I'll put that in my soup. I usually put like a ton of these. A whole head of broccoli, a couple of mushrooms, maybe like three kale leaves, a ton of green peas, and it's like a huge big soup. And maybe I'll eat that with a salad. This is dinner option number two. So this week for dinner, I have a special recipe in mind. Sloppy Joes, made out of lentils. And these are all basically my ingredients other than a couple of spices. Maybe I'll throw this in there as well. I could not find good natural buns that are vegan. All of them had a bunch of crap in them. So I bought these mini pitas to make sloppy joes this week. So yeah, I'm gonna have this one night. I also, I bought this red lentil linguine. It's made out of red lentil flour and organic quinoa flour. I thought that was so cool. This was also on sale. That will be a super easy dinner with all of these veggies as a stir fry and serve it with on top of the linguine. That's like my fourth dinner option. I have so many dinner options. I'm gonna like run out of time to make all my options. So that's basically it. Those are all the things I bought, I think. I bought five of these apples so I can have them for breakfast or a snack. I bought three of these. I bought four heads of lettuce. A bunch of these tomatoes to eat in either wraps or salads. I always make a huge bag of this and of beans so that I have them on hand. Saves money. I bought a ton of lime so I can put them on my salad. I bought one avocado, mix it in my salad or put it on top of my tacos. Four of these sweet potatoes to make for lunch or dinner. I only bought two cans of beans this week. If I run out of these pinto beans, I have some other beans on hand. And I bought this little baby melon. It was 99 cents. I'm just a deal searcher. Like if something's on sale, I will probably buy it and force it into my meal plan. So I'll have this for breakfast. If I don't want a smoothie, I'll have this or I'll have it as a snack. And also I'll have bananas as a snack. I'll have apple as a snack. I think that's it. Yeah, I'm going bye bye now. I feel like I have shit I could like recook, but you know I hate eating the same thing twice. See, Brittany's the opposite. She hates eating leftovers. I'll make one thing out and eat it the same I every day. I literally hate leftovers. Let me know in the comments if you're more like Brittany or if you're like me where you can eat the same thing every day and never get sick of it. Even if it's something I love, if it's like the third day I'm eating it, I start dry heaving. <laughs> <laughs> I could eat the same thing every day. Because the more I eat it, the more I want it. Nope. <laughs> I make everything really simple and I don't really do too many elaborate recipes unless I'm feeling like making something fun for dinner. I never get bored. I have, I can make something like so many different ways. And this is just stuff that I would buy for the week. Obviously I would have to have other condiments on hand. Like I have vinegars on hand always. I have like, spices and everything on hand. In my next video, I'll let you know all my vegan essential staple items that I always have like spices and seasonings and condiments. That's all I have for today. That concludes this lesson on veganism. <laughs> I hope this helped anyone that's trying to go vegan and they don't know where to start or what to buy at the grocery store. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like this video, if you want to see more grocery hauls. Let me know in the comments what other videos you'd like to see. Thanks for watching.
Mama, I'm na na na. Mama, I'm a hello. 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 Mama, I'm a h